let's go to Jay Young. Jay Young is an energy expert, uh, fourth generation oil and gas professional, has uh, a leadership team with over 100 years of combined oil and gas exploration, uh, exploration, development experience, operating staff of industry specialists, geoscientists, engineers, field operations, finance, accounting, land professionals, and he wrote The Upside of Oil and Gas Investing. Uh, Jay, thanks for coming on the show tonight. Uh, good to have you on and talk to me. What do you think about our grid tonight? Yeah, well, it's a it's a long story that comes real down comes real short, right? Yeah. What what are we doing? What what are we trying to do? I thought we had this thing figured out. I thought I didn't know that we were having challenges with it. We've been through a lot of long hard days. It's been hot, obviously, in Texas. And why we have this problem, I'm just I, I don't know. I mean. We haven't had these problems before, and I know a friend of mine just talked about, hey, we you know we don't have any storage for grid. Maybe that's something that we need to, you know, look into or do or whatever. But why are we having all these problems? It just we're, we're not drilling for oil in the United States like we need to be. We, we we are not drilling like crazy like we were before the pandemic. We need to be so oil is plentiful, so in Texas we can use it, but. With this grid system, it's it's one of those it's one of those things that just I don't understand why why are we not getting it down exactly? Don't you, you know, how much? Don't you think we need more natural gas plants and and uh, coal plants? Isn't that what we need? Because uh, natural gas can crank itself up like um, uh, by many hundreds of percents. Uh, like they can basically, like they say in Spinal Tap, turn it up to eleven. Yeah. And you can't turn and, up and the sun, you can't turn up the wind, right can you? Hmm? Cheap. It's cheap right now. You could use that. Coal is cheap. Natural gas is cheap. We could use it. We could, we could, uh, it wouldn't be expensive to, to, to burn it. Clean, clean, uh, burning fuel. That would be a great way to, to handle it. We need electricity, obviously. We don't need blackouts. We don't. Let me go through the same thing that we've done, done before. Are we sitting, Are Jay, we, on enough, uh, natural gas? Uh, more than we need in the state of Texas to supply it for uh, uh, the, uh, the the grid to never have a problem. Do we have enough natural gas in Texas? To... Absolutely, absolutely. There, there's enough. There's enough supply right now that that we could. Matter of fact, I mean the, the reason you know every time oil and gas goes in cycles, you know the, the price goes from eighty dollars to twenty or thirty, forty. It goes back and forth. It's all about supply and demand. And right now we just don't have the demand. For, for natural gas in the United States or Texas, we don't have that demand. We have a plentiful supply. That's why the price is cheap. Jay, so um, found something well, else to use natural gas for. Be be great. Do we have? Um, I, I gotta put it out, put you on hold for a second. Do you do you do you know how how uh, how, how hard it is to get a natural gas plant up uh, for uh, as far as for electricity? Is that something you can answer to? Because if it is, I want to hold you over for that question. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I know it's all about policies and, and legal and, and all that. It would be hard to do that. Mm -hmm. It would be very difficult to Let, do that. Are you ready? Are you ready to turn your life over to appeasing our grid? Getting ready to? Uh, are you adjusting to a third world new way of life where you unplug everything every night uh, in the warm months because this is your new way of life? And is that okay with you? Uh, or are you not going to do that and uh, let it be and let the grid go dark if it has to? But uh, no, you won't. You won't uh, adjust your life like a third world country, which is what they're asking you. To do. They're asking you to inconvenience yourself for the grid. I uh, wanted to ask uh, one more question for our oil and gas expert Jay Young. Uh, his book is The Upside of Oil and Gas Investing. Uh, Jay, uh, thanks for uh, holding for another uh, question. How difficult is it? I mean, you already told me as a gas expert, we got more than enough gas, natural gas in Texas alone. We're sitting on it. Mm -hmm. And yet we've, uh, you know, actually two questions. Have we uh, let our grid become reliant on green energy? Yes. Well, we, we've, we've tried to put things together so we don't run out of energy. We don't do a blackout like we did. You know, now that's, that hasn't worked out or obviously it's been very close last night and hopefully tonight. I, mean, I was just pulled in my garage. It's 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, man, my, my, I guarantee my air conditioners, it's blowing. Every one of them are going at full capacity today. That's not good. And because of the because of everything that you need to generate electricity, with, with, when it's with natural gas or if it's coal or if it's, you know, 
oil and gas or natural gas, or whatever. I mean, right now it is just it is needed, and it is our population has gotten you know through the roof in Texas, and we need every every form that we can get. Unfortunately, it just takes a lot. And if you don't have wind, you don't have that those those big turbines out in uh, West Texas that are that are you know slowly gaining. I mean, I was I was surprised. I read an article in Wall Street Journal. It talks about. I mean, somebody Google that. You know, Google the wind farms and and what's going on. Hey, as long as we have wind, it's it's making a difference. And I, I'm not. I'm but we're relying on it, and we shouldn't rely on that for the grid, should we? Because they said the reason exactly. why it went south is because they didn't get as much. They got half the wind they thought they would. What the hell is this? Yeah, exactly. And they're telling us to unplug our Teslas. Well, not my Tesla. I don't have a Tesla. Yeah. So, you know, Me neither. No, thank you. Yeah, hard, exactly. hard pass on that. Um, <laughs> so uh, the, how hard is it to get a – I don't know if you're familiar with how hard it is to get a natural gas plant uh, on online, uh, yeah, yeah. especially in this yeah. state where it should be easier. Do you know? Is it that hard? Is it that – You know, I think it would cost – the, the, the capital going in, number one, to do it would be astronomical. But I couldn't imagine – I mean, the only person that would make money was lawyers. I, I'd want to be at, go to law school right before and, and get that contract because, you know, with, with regulations and, and all the different things that would go into it, I can't mm. imagine. I've, I've talked about oil and gas refineries. We only have a certain amount of oil and gas refineries. I've been on a lot of radio shows talking about, you know, oil refineries and what would happen and how to increase it and things of that nature. We just don't, we just don't have it. I mean, it's like they would cost – a tremendous amount of money, but the regulations and the lawyers that would get involved and the time and the payback. Well, you know? I mean, if if would, if the if the uh, federal government's uh, incentivizing green crap, shouldn't we counter incentivize with our our tech, Texas dollars for uh, a natural gas plant? Yeah, well, I, I tell you what, it would be great because we have a lot of we're plentiful old natural gas in this in this this um, state or you know in the in the surrounding Texas, Oklahoma. We're, we're plentiful. We need natural. We have a lot of natural gas, and the more we use or we would use right now, the better the price would be. So yep. I'd, I'd be really up for it, but I just don't know if that's going to be something that we could do anytime anytime soon. Well, thank you, Jay Young, energy expert. I appreciate you for joining us tonight on the, on the program, okay? Hey, go, go, on, go on any website and look for my book, The Upside of Oil and Gas Investing. Call me, ask me a question. Anytime I'm available, I'd love to come back on your show anytime. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Jay. Have a good night, man.